Focal Point with Brian Fisher on AFI Talk. Hi, and welcome back to Focal Point on AFR Talk. Brian Fisher is my name. You are listening to Focal Point, the home of muscular Christianity on conservative talk radio. Uh, and l- let me just finish up with uh, some of my comments on Islam before we change gears. I want to talk about this Photoshopping incident, which has taken off, taken on a life of its own. I cannot believe it. I'll get back here in a second. But I went on Google just before I came across the street. I mean, 15 minutes ago, I went on Google because there, were an, there was an article I was looking for that I remember reading back at the time, and I wanted to find that article on this Situation Room and the possibility that Obama's image had been photoshopped into that picture, and I couldn't believe it. The first five or six pages is in reference to my segment yesterday when I spent about three or four minutes talking about this. The first five, four, five, six pages, may, it could be longer. That's as deep as I got into it was five pages. But virtually every link in the Google search was to my comments yesterday about the possibility that Obama's image had been photoshopped uh, into that picture. So it's just kind of crazy. It's taken a life out of its own. Daily Coast has a segment on it. Salon, which is an uber left-wing publication, they got a segment on it. Uh, the Huffington Post has got a segment on it. Uh, mediate, Media Matters. I mean, all of these left-wing sites that monitor this stuff uh, are, are giving it uh, airtime. So I appreciate the work they're doing. They're helping me to publicize. They're helping me to popularize uh, this theory. And I want to get back to a little bit of that with you in just a second. I got some more observations about that picture, some of which uh, kind of inspired by things that Glenn Beck said on his program yesterday. But uh, back to the the deal with, with Islam. You know, you got this trial with Hassan going on. Uh, you know, and again, just to, just to close the loop on this Tennessee Elementary School. Now, if if I if I get into that, I'll never get back to the uh, never get back to the Photoshop stuff. Let me set that aside just for a second. We'll try to get back to it a little bit later in the program. So anyway, um, we had this deal uh, with Reggie Love. What, what started this whole thing was uh, Reggie Love and and Rob. Let's have clips one and two ready to go here. What started this whole thing was Reggie Love telling people at UCLA that while everybody was up in the situation room watching the bin Laden attack go down, he was down in the basement, well, or down in the dining room or someplace, playing cards with Reggie Love. And he said, look, we played at least 15 hands of uh, spades. So it w- they weren't just down there taking a break and playing a couple of minutes of cards. They were spending a lot of time doing this, a lot of time away from the situation room. So the White House is out there trying to say, no, President Obama, he was there. He was right at a post. He was right on duty. He was doing his job as commander-in-chief and as the president. We know that's not the truth. Reggie Love said he's his body man. Everywhere Obama goes, he goes with him. So when Reggie Love says that's where the president was, he would know what he's talking about because it was his job to shadow the president virtually every minute of every waking day. So he says President Obama's down in the dining room playing cards. Uh, that's, a, that's a credible statement. There's no reason to question that. Uh, And uh, so he says, look, he wasn't up in the situation room. He couldn't handle it. He couldn't take it. I can't watch this whole thing. So I want to go play cards while this attack on bin Laden is is going down and everybody else is up there in the situation room. You know, and and, and the observation I made, that would explain why he's not at the table. Why is he not at the table? Why do they have to? I mean, it looks to me, I mean, I can't say this for certain. I'm not a photographic expert. I'm still sticking by my theory that I think there's a likelihood, and I've never said it's a certainty, I've just said there's a likelihood, I believe, in my judgment, that President Obama's image was photoshopped into that picture. Now, you look at that picture, and we've got it up at our Focal Point Facebook page. You can see it anywhere. It's all over the net. I'm looking at a, an image of it right now, and uh, he just looks small. He looks hunched over. The proportion of his head is all out of phase with the proportions of the heads of the other people that are in the room. And here's something else that people haven't commented about. What is he doing sitting in the corner of the room to begin with? This guy is the commander-in-chief. Why is somebody else at the head of the table? The guy that's sitting at the head of the table, he's not the commander-in-chief. And the situation room, any situation room, is set up so that the president is at the head of the table. The president is the commander-in-chief. The president is the leader. The president is the decision-maker. The president is the civilian commander 
of the military. He's the one that's in charge. He's the one that sits at the head of the table. Instead, you've got this general sitting there with a head that's twice the size of Obama's head. Obama doesn't have a computer. That's another thing. Everybody else at the table's got a computer in front of him. Obama doesn't. He's sitting at the corner of this table. He's got his jacket on. Everybody else is in business attire. And here's the other thing. If he was downstairs playing card, which is what Reggie Love said he was doing, then he goes up to the Situation Room. What's he doing with the windbreaker on? If you're downstairs playing cards, you got your sleeves rolled up, you're relaxing with your bros, you're playing cards, you're not going to put a windbreaker on to walk up a flight of stairs and sit in a chair in a climate-controlled environment. So it doesn't make any sense that he would be wearing a, a windbreaker. And you wonder if that whole story about him being yanked off the golf course was because they had to provide some kind of plausible cover story as to why that guy is sitting there wearing a windbreaker in the Situation Room with an open-collar golf shirt. they got to come up with some. And I, I don't know why they picked this. Let's assume for the sake of argument. Here's my suggestion. Just for the sake of argument, let's assume that he was Photoshopped. Again, I'm not saying I know that for a fact. I'm just suggesting this is what I think is, is, is very likely. But if you're going to Photoshop him into this photo, then he has to be looking approximately in the same direction that everybody else is looking. you got to get him looking up at something. Well, President Obama never looks up at anything. He looks down on everybody at all times in all circumstances. He's got his nose up in the air looking down on you, looking down on me, looking down on the press, looking down on the American people. Uh, that's his habitual uh, state of uh, pose. He doesn't look up at anything. He looks down on people, not up at anything. So the number of pictures that they could find where he's actually looking upward, probably limited in number. I'm looking at a piece from the American Thinker from May of 2012. This was the piece I was looking for, and I found out that there were five or six pages of Google searches on that segment yesterday all by themselves. I couldn't believe it because I'm waiting through this. I, I, you know, that, that surprised me. I wasn't interested in finding out how much traffic this was getting. I just stumbled onto it because I was looking for this article from the American Thinker. And this guy looks very carefully at that photograph, and he says even the angle of Obama's eyes is wrong. If you kind of tra uh, trace what he's looking at, he's not looking exactly on the same plane as everybody else. So it's like, again, this is, this is part of the, the hypothesis would be, look, they had to find a picture of Obama somewhere doing something where he, his posture of his head and the gaze of his eyes was approximately the same as everybody else in the room. They don't want to get him looking down at his shoes. They don't want to get him looking off into space uh, when everybody else is, is focused on what's going on on the screen. Hillary Clinton's got her hand over her mouth. She's horrified. She's frightened about what is going on. Is that the woman you want to get the, th by the way, you want to get the 3 a.m. phone call? You want her to get the 3 a.m. phone call? Seriously, she's sitting there at the table with her hand over her mouth in shock. Now, the guys around the table, they're sober. They're focused. They're intent, but they are not freaked out. Hillary Clinton is freaked out by what she is seeing on the screen. Do we want her taking the 3 a.m. phone call? I don't think so. Uh, and anyway, where, where, where was I? Oh, yeah. So they got to find some kind of photograph, some kind of image of him looking approximately in the right direction. So maybe they found this one, but he's wearing a golf shirt. He's wearing a windbreaker. Uh, and the size is all wrong. And maybe they were worried about kind of making him the right size for fear that the, the pixelation would make it obvious that they had monkeyed with the, uh, you know, with the image. There are a whole bunch of other irregularities that this American thinker piece uh, goes into in the picture of the people that are standing behind him. I mean, this guy thinks there were a couple of other people that maybe were added to the picture later, one of whom is a woman, because they didn't want to create the impression that there was only one woman, Hillary Clinton, in the room at the time. Uh, there's some uh, other problems with with uh, the, the tone of, of shirt color, skin color, stuff like that that looked like uh, the images had been monkeyed with. So you can find that on American Thinker if you want. It'll be on about the fifth or sixth page in your Google uh, search. But anyway, the media is out there already covering for this guy. Let's grab clip number one. This is CBS. Remember, the Reggie Love video was yanked. He wasn't supposed to say this. He was not supposed to spill the beans. He wasn't supposed to let the American people know that President Obama was AWOL when the bin Laden attack was going down, but he did. They tried to yank it from YouTube. They got it pulled down off YouTube. Jeff found it someplace else, and now it's all over the Internet. Let's um, play clip number one. This is CBS trying to defend Obama 
over what Reggie Love said yesterday. Most people were like down in the Situation Room, but he was like, "I'm not. I can't. I'm not going to be down here. I can't watch this entire thing." And just so he, myself, Pete Souza, the White House photographer, Marvin, we played. We must have played 15 hand, 15 games of spades. It was a long raid that was carried out. It took a long raid that operation, and clearly the president, I think, needed to take a break. But. I think some people are going to take that headline out of context today. I take out of that. I want the president to do whatever he needs to do to clear his mind so he can make the most effective decision he can. Right. That was clearly a tension-filled day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We want the president to make the best decisions he can possibly. So completely checking out. I mean, basically what he's saying is Obama couldn't handle the tension. Do we want Obama taking the 3 a.m. phone call? Charlie Rose saying Obama can't handle the tension. It was too much for him. Hillary Clinton's freaking out. She's got her hand over her mouth. President Obama can't take the stretch. He's got to go down and play cards to chill out so he didn't get all wigged out and can make an intelligent decision. Now, uh, Jeff Reed, our fearless producer, he was the one that tracked down this video yesterday. Jeff, you uh, told me before we, well, we ended the segment that you had something to add to this uh, conversation. Yeah, I do. Uh, just before we came over here to be in the control room, um, probably due to all the reaction that you have been getting, uh, we received a picture um, a reaction. I'm not sure where it came from. <laughs> if you, you look go. up on the screen. Hey, now, can we get that up on our, um, can, can I'm going to put it on Facebook right now. Can we now. get it up on Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to see this. Go to, it's, it, is it up there now? Yeah. It's on our focal point Facebook page. I am telling you, you have got to go and see this photograph. You've it's got an to go official see. reaction to this, your statements yesterday. This this is the, the White House releasing an official <laughs> photograph to try to uh, dampen what they're trying to do is put the kibosh on, on the theory that I presented. So the White House, this is an officially released photograph from the White House, and we've got it on our Focal Point Facebook page, which proves... <laughs> which proves that President Obama was in the room because I'm sitting there right next to him. <laughs> now you look at it. Now that, that's actually pretty convincing. Yeah, and, and, and now you know why he's sitting in the corner he has to see around your head. Because <laughs> <laughs> my head is so big. Yeah. That is spooky. Who did that? that uh, that's absolutely amazing. They've got me looking in the right. That, that shows you you can do it. Oh, it looks better than, than uh, it Obama looks, does. It looks better than Obama. <laughs> I mean, that Photoshop of me in there. Oops, there's the word again. Quit using that word, please. That looks way better than the Photoshopped picture of <laughs> Obama. There again. I am. I'm in the Situation Room. I'm helping the Commander-in-Chief process this thing. I'm glued. I've got my eyes fixed on the screen. I'm tracking. I'm there. In case President Obama wants to slip out and play some more cards, I'm on point to cover for him. Focal Point, AFR Talk. Go to the Focal Point Facebook page right now.